Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, this is Monday, November 25th, and it's 7.46 p.m. Someone sent me a link to this video that I would like to share with you because it may really help a lot of you that are struggling in one area or another. Now, this particular video from this man's teachings, which I agree with this teaching, I don't know him. I don't know what else he teaches or what doctrines, but he's but this one starts off kind of sounding like he's going to go toward the once saved always saved, but he's not. So keep listening and don't think that when he says something what he says about grace, all right? Because uh the once saved always saved theology or doctrine is all about grace. I call it the hyper grace theory or uh, people that believe in hyper grace. In other words, grace and the blood of Jesus covered it all. We are saved by faith. And let's see, for it is by grace. I know the scripture by heart. For it is by grace through faith. That we are saved and that not of ourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But verse 10 goes on to say that it's we are saved to do good works. Okay, so I was just saying that to tell you that somewhere near the beginning he says something that sounds like he's going in that direction, but he isn't. Let me just play. A couple minutes to let you hear uh, how it starts and then I'll leave the description I mean the uh, link in the description box and I'll bet this will help many of you overcome some of your things okay take a listen Hi everybody, I hope you have been enjoying this series that I've been on. This is the eighth video in an eight part series that I have been doing on the subject of spiritual blocks to the life of your heart. If you know anything about my materials, resources, the focus of what I do and what God has put a deep passion and calling in my life is to help people to live healed and free from the heart. To take everything that Jesus Christ paid for and let it have its work in our life so we can have connection to the Father. That we don't have to feel far from the Father. We can have great connection and life in relating to God. Also in how we see ourselves. That we'd see ourselves the way that God sees us. And then that would reflect in our relationships. And I would say that of all the areas that we've talked about, each of them are so incredibly important. But I would hate to let this series go without addressing a very key block. And it is one that many believers don't realize. And when you look at the scope of your Christian walk and your life and your walk with God, and I know for a huge portion of my journey growing up as a believer, there was a lack of true love and grace in my life. And I want to talk about that as a block because we will constantly spin our wheels with little progress and little evidence of change and fruit in our lives if we don't slow down and let our hearts experience, not just a theory in our heads, because the majority of people know in theory what love and grace is. But there's an absence of it in their walk with God, in their life, and how they see themselves, how they see their relationships. It's astounding, I know, but true. A large percentage of believers engage the Christian walk, but have very little heart connection to the love and grace of God. Okay, well, I'm going to start stop it there. So it is talking about a lack of love and grace. And yes, he talks a little fast, but um, I was able to keep up with him. And I found this teaching, I listened to the end, and it's almost 30 minutes, but it's well worth it, especially if you feel you're not connecting with God enough, or you don't feel loved, or that 
maybe are you loving God enough? Are you doing enough? Are you saying enough? Are you praying enough? Are you this enough? Are you that enough? Like maybe you're a little too much works based and not enough into receiving the love of God. And that's kind of what this is about. That's part of it. So I'm going to leave it go at that. And I pray that if if you're, um, you know, struggling in any area, uh, especially if you don't feel like God really loves you as much as the others because you're lacking this gift or that gift, or if you feel you're stuck on a, how did he put it, the, the wheel the mouse runs on or <laughs> something like that. And you're just spinning your wheels and you're not feeling like you're growing. You might want to take a listen to this because um, I just think it's a very good teaching that may help anyone who needs uh, to feel why, to understand why maybe they don't feel as close to God as they would like to. Okay? I'll leave it go at that, and I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and my computer, and each and every one of you and all your devices, too, and the internet connections that you have, so we can stay connected for as long as we're here, even if I have to go to another channel. Oh, i got to decide quickly. But I don't know. I've been looking into this thing about YouTube uh, taking down channels. It seems to have to do mostly with children and making content that uh, is not uh, fit for children, but you're not stating that somewhere in like your description box or first comment or to them we have to tell it to them our video is not made for children you have to state that and I clicked off the box that my videos are not made for children really most of them that any child could watch but my videos are, are made more for teens and up you know not children um, as they're a little young to understand most of the stuff that I discuss. Anyhow, I'll leave it go at that. And uh, with that, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.